Today marks 10 days until I go back to school. I'm going to be a sophomore at SUNY Cortland, so I need to get packing because I have only packed a little bit of stuff. You're gonna pack with me. The first thing I'm gonna do is go through my closet and just take out any sweatshirts I think I'm gonna be bringing. I'm really gonna narrow it down this year because last year I brought all of my sweatshirts and it just was way too much. I'm only gonna pick a few of my sweatshirts and then go through the top of my closet. Here's what I've already packed, and then just like this hamper, but I have to go through my closet now and the top of my closet. There's just so much stuff in here, especially because it's going to be warm when I go back. I definitely don't need to bring a puffer jacket or my comfy, so I'm just going to go through this really fast and pick out the stuff I want to bring. Okay, let's go through my closet. Here's my little checklist of things I need to remember. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I narrowed it down to. I have a black, just like plain zip up. I love my zip ups. I literally eat, sleep, breathe in those. So I'm gonna bring a black one and then my gray one. Just because it gets so cold up there so fast and I don't know when I'm gonna come home to like get other stuff. I'm gonna bring my winter jacket, a windbreaker in case it's like raining or just windy, a gray sweatshirt, and then a crew neck because the rest of those are hoodies, a vest in case it's just a little chilly out because it's gonna be fall time, this white hoodie. I feel like that's good. Closet is all packed. I am going to Hershey this weekend, so I do want to bring like one sweatshirt, but I'll just grab one. For my now the game plan is to go through my shirt and pants drawers and pajamas and just pick out all of the stuff that I don't wear too often, but I'm probably going to wear at school. This is what I've been dreading the most just because those drawers have become such a mess these past few weeks and I've just been putting it off, but we're going to do it now, get it over with because this next week is going to be very hectic, so it's just start doing it. I just went through all of my shirts. This is what I plan on bringing to school. They're not obviously not folded perfectly but I plan on bringing that and then a few workout shirts and right now I'm going through my pants. So these are the pants I plan on bringing. I just have to fold them and then I'm going to decide what I think I'm gonna wear within the next 10 days and what I don't think I'm gonna end up wearing within the next 10 days I will pack. And then I'm gonna go through my pajamas, which there are a lot. So yeah, I'll catch you up once I make more progress. Update, it's been a while. I did a lot, so I packed all of my clothes that I'm not gonna be wearing. This is what I'll be wearing the next 10 days. These are shorts and biker shorts and then shirts. And I still have a hamper full of dirty laundry, so anything that's in there, I'll decide after I wash it. I got rid of some of my shoes. I'm still gonna wear those and possibly those. I packed this full of shoes and then this I hang in my closet or underneath my bed and it's for my shoes. Now I am going to pack just like random things that I can find that I don't really use too often. I'm gonna do that right now. And charge my camera battery because she's blinking. It's the next morning. My camera battery died, but I made a lot of progress. I literally just woke up like an hour ago. I'm gonna show you what my room looks like. I moved all of the big bags out of my room. So that's just like a small hamper with extra moving bags. That's the little rolly cart I'm gonna bring. It just has some random stuff on it right now, like medicine, some clothes I need to pack, and my Little Bites boxes because I am making a wall, a whole wall covered in Little Bites boxes. Last year I just like collected a bunch of Little Bites boxes every time. Okay, so I'm currently editing this video and I realized I never finished what I was saying. My camera stopped focusing, so I just ended the video and I forgot to finish my thought. Anyway, I was basically just saying the Little Bites boxes are for a wall of a collection that we gathered from all of our Walmart trips and the three other roommates I'm having next year. We decided to have a wall of our shrine of Little Bites boxes. So yeah, that's basically all I was saying. Anyway, back to the video and hopefully I don't forget my thoughts anymore.
so i just got back from hershey last night oh i haven't been able to pack anything else besides what i already had packed before i left i had work this morning from 7 50 to three i'm exhausted i came home i just relaxed for a bit and then i ate some food and i took a nap i tried to do some packing i packed up just a few random little items extra hair stuff that i'm not going to be using for the next five days now so all i really have left are the clothes that are currently clean and need to be folded and the clothes that are in the wash so once all of my clothes are clean i'm going to fold them all and i'm going to have a pile of the clothes i'm planning on wearing the next five days and then the rest is going in a bag so this is a very busy week tomorrow I don't know how much free time I'm gonna have because it's Mia's birthday. I don't know what the plans are yet. And then Wednesday is my only off day, but I'm probably gonna spend that with Andrew. And then Thursday, Friday, I'm with my mom. And then Saturday is moving. Anyway, I'm blabbering. It's Tuesday, I'm about to hang out with Mia, but I just needed to show you this rain right now. Listen to that. Yeah, I'm about to hang out with Mia. It's gonna be an interesting car ride for sure. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Probably just coffee, some bagels, and probably thrift shopping. That's what we usually do. And then, yeah, then I won't see Mia until Thanksgiving. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll catch up with you guys when something interesting happens. I'm back from hanging out with Mia and I did a little bit of shopping. So I'm gonna show you what I got. First things first, I got this phone case. That's little baby Andrew. From TJ Maxx, it was literally $7. We went to Old Navy and I planned on buying jean shorts and jeans, but I didn't wanna spend all that money right now. I ended up finding these really cute socks for $5. Really cute, three colors, that lightning. I wonder if you could do that. Um, also, the other day, I got this bag from Urban Outfitters, this little tote bag. Super cute. This little pocket. And then from Target, I found these shorts. They were $12, but then they were on sale, which I didn't know. So I got them for 6 but then I used the Target app, so I got them pretty much for free. And they don't have front pockets, so I which I find pretty cool, honestly. For $0.39, cents, I will take it. Then from TJ Maxx, this was also on sale for $12. It's just this really bright orange blanket. I grabbed this with the intention of it being kind of a fall seasonal blanket, but honestly, I have a sage green comforter, so I feel like this might look good year round, but we're just gonna have to see. Finally, my favorite purchase. It was 25 bucks, also from TJ Maxx. This really soft throw blanket the dorms beds are a size twin xl so a little bit bigger than a twin sized bed but this is a full slash queen size so it's gonna be really comfy yeah i'm excited and also if i get a stain on this i could literally just bleach it so that's all i really have for right now i might do a little bit more packing i might just start packing my clothes because i just finished washing everything there's a lot of bags downstairs waiting to be packed in my mom's car and my grandma's car for moving so i'm getting very excited it's so close i cannot wait to decorate my room and start classes i'm gonna go now i'm about to go hang out with my mom um go get my nails done but i thought i'd give you a, t a one day before college fit check this blue tank and these shorts and then i'm gonna throw on my Birkenstock slides and I have my bag from Urban. And for makeup, I literally just did concealer under my eyes and some mascara. But my mom's here, so I have to go. I will catch up with you later. I'm back from getting my nails done and my massage. And then my mom wanted to visit this dog that she really loves, so we went and saw the dog. But I packed up my mom's car, which was not the plan, we packed up her whole entire car. I was really nervous that we wouldn't fit everything, but we fit pretty much everything, so now tomorrow there's not gonna be a problem packing my grandma's car, so that is really good. I guess the next clip is gonna be tomorrow morning when I wake up. Good morning, happy move-in day. It's currently 5.15 in the morning. I have to get up 
and start getting my stuff together. My grandparents are going to be here at around 5.45. And then my mom's going to be here around 6. And then we hit the road. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. Hi vlog! We're moved in, we're currently organizing. Hi! This is Brooke! <laughs> Oh, sorry. This is PP. There's Kate over Hi. there on the chair. I'll show you their room. Corner. It looks really cute. Hey. So adorable. Well, Can I have a lollipop right here? Let's oh. show our room. What are these like mints? I'll what show you our little art. I got it. The red ones and the orange ones. This is a random oh, sink. I really don't even know what's happening. Right our little kitchen area. We have an air fryer and such. Um, our bathroom. Very nice. We're gonna hang hooks there for our towels. This is our room. This is my side. It's a disaster. This is our closet. Here's outside. Very nice. <laughs> I'll catch up back when everything is all fancy schmancy. We have to Toodles. Last year, a total trainer. First I was night so in Dragon 406. There's Andy on the floor. Hi. 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 Hey. Hey. Walking on classes. Enhancing transfer experience. Oh, I, I had to take that last year. Oh. So I'm currently downloading all of the videos from my camera onto my laptop, and I realized the last video of the room was move in, and all of my stuff was kind of just a mess. So it's been about a month since I've been procrastinating just downloading all of the videos, and I want to see what my room looks like. So first off, my desk is over there. Um, I decided to do that because I couldn't really access my closet and now I have this little nook area. We have this all organized, so that's nice. Here's what my bed looks like. Here's Meatball, he's doing swell. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm horrible at editing videos and finishing videos that I start. So it's the summer after my sophomore year of college and I'm finally editing and finishing that video. Next semester, we're moving into a house that was our last semester on college campus. So I really just wanted to finish it, mostly for myself to like look back on, but also because when I was moving into Cortland for the first time, I was looking up a bunch of videos of dorms that I was moving into potentially. So I was looking up videos for Hendrick Hall, and then I was looking up videos of Dragon Hall, and there were no videos for either of them. That's the end of this video. No promises that there will be any anytime soon, but I hope this one is helpful for any future students that are moving into uh, a dorm on Cortland campus. So, yeah.